welcome to the fourth installment of Master of Strings. For this episode, we're going to be learning a strumming technique called finger picking. Finger picking is just simply picking each of the strings within your chord. So rather than the traditional strumming, you're just picking each of the strings in the chord. So that's it. Really, there's uh, different techniques of finger picking. Right now, we're going to be working on the most basic technique, but you know, you could also add anything you want to it, like. Right? You could really mess around with finger picking all you want, but today we're just going to be working on the most basic form of finger picking, which is just simply. Just going down and back up. You know, there's nothing crazy to learn right now. We'll get into that in further installments. But so we're gonna be learning the song House of the Rising Sun. Okay, so the first chord that you're gonna do is an A minor, which is. And if you remember from our last episode, we were working on the A minor. And uh, so if you don't remember it, here it is. So you place your ring finger on the third string, second fret, middle finger, fourth string, second fret, and index finger on the second string of the first fret. And that's what you should hear. If you're hearing anything else, you're not doing it right. So that's what you should hear. And again, we're gonna be finger picking it. But we're not gonna be finger picking all of the strings in the chord. We're only gonna be doing five, four, three, and two. So the, uh, what you should be doing is 5, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, and just keep doing that. And just keep doing it over and over again until you get used to it. It might take you a while. It is a lot more complicated than it may seem. So just, you know, take your time. Don't be ashamed of uh, being slow. And uh, so... When we move to the next chord, here's what we should hear. So when you're doing the A minor, do five, four, three, two, three, and then when you come back to four, you strum the four, and then you go to C. Now, to transition from an A minor to a C, it's not that hard. All you're doing is you're leaving your fingers exactly where they are. All you're gonna do is move your ring finger to the third fret of the fifth string. That's it. So not too much. You might even want to move your middle finger a little bit more towards the second fret, a little bit, you know, just so it's more comfortable. But that's all you do. Just lift your ring finger to the third fret, fifth string. And it's the same strings that you're going to be strumming is five, four, three, two, three, four. So what you should have so far is A minor, which again, ring finger, uh, third string, second fret, middle finger, fourth string, second fret, index finger, second string, first fret. And then move to the C. Once again, just move your ring finger from the third string to the fifth string, third fret. And then after that, we're doing a completely different chord, so you're going to be moving all of your fingers. So you're going to go from this to this, which is a D. And so a D, it's not hard to hold at all. The C might even be much harder to hold, but the D is just uh, third string, second fret, uh, first string, second fret, and second string, third fret. And the only strings that you strum in this chord are the last, or the first four. So one, two, three, four. So the, uh, the finger picking pattern would be so that's four, three, two, one, two, three. Four, three, two, one, two, three. So, so far you have the A minor, C, D. So let me tell you how to do that one more time. So middle finger on the first string, second fret, index finger, second fret, third string, and your ring finger goes on the uh, second string, third fret. So once again, Okay, so that's the D, and then the next chord you're going to do is a variation of F. A normal F is a bar chord, which we'll get into in later episodes because those could be really tricky to perform, uh, but it's a variation of F. This is exactly the same as the C chord, except just move your middle and ring fingers down one string. 
that's all, just down one string. So that would be ring finger, third uh, fret of the fourth string, and middle finger, third string, second fret, and index finger, second string, first fret. And again, just like the D, the first four strings are the only ones that you're finger picking, so. So four, three, two, one, two, three. And then after that, well, here's what we have so far. So we have the A minor, C, D, F, and then you want to go back to the A minor, and then go to C, and then back to the, and then we go to an E minor. So again, just like the last episode we did, we worked on the E minor, which is just it's the simplest chord ever. It's just second fret, fifth string, and second fret, fourth string. So, and you're going back to the original finger picking pattern, which is five, four, three, two, three, four. So let's try everything we got. A minor, C, D, F, and then A minor, C, and then E minor. And that's it. And then you just start that same progression again. So once again, A minor, C, D, F, A minor, C, and E. That's it. So that's House of the Rising Sun, and that's our first finger picking lesson. Uh, a few episodes from now, we'll get into even more advanced tutorials on finger picking. And once again, this is Pierce Sanya with RPTV. Tune in next time for more tutorials on how to play guitar with the master of strings. Thank you.